Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is abstract class and how to use abstract class in Java. So abstract class is also a class But to make a class as abstract class, I have to come with the keyword abstract. Finally, with the help of this abstract keyword, the compiler can understand so this is an abstract class. So finally, abstract class is also a class. But to make a class as abstract class, I will be using a keyword abstract so that this class will become abstract class. So we'll understand what is the difference between normal class and abstract class. In a normal class, I can define a method. Let it be my normal method. Or I can say it's a concrete method. The normal method or concrete method will come with a method with body or implementation. So I'm just making a simple statement. I am a normal method. Finally, in our normal class, yes, I can define a method. So nothing but my concrete method, a method with body or implementation. So finally, in abstract class also, I can define a concrete method as well as I can declare abstract method. Let me say my abstract method. Since it's a declaration, I will come with or I will end with semicolon. And also I have to tell to my compiler. So this is not a concrete method. This is a abstract method. For that, I'm using a keyword abstract. So finally, with the help of this abstract keyword, the compiler can understand Okay, this is an abstract method which will not come with the method implementation or body. So finally, in the abstract class, I can declare n number of abstract method. For example, let me make one more abstract method. Let it be my abstract method to without body. Since it's a declaration, I have to come with the keyword abstract. So finally, with the help of this abstract keyword, the compiler can understand, okay, this is the abstract method. So which means without body or implementation. So finally, you can look at the uh, difference between our normal class and the abstract class. In normal class, I can define a method. But in abstract class, I can define a method as well as I can declare a method. Since it's a declaration of method without body, I have to come with the keyword abstract. Mm -hmm. So finally, the very simple definition is abstract class is a collection of concrete method and abstract method. So hope friends, we are clear about how to write abstract class and what is the difference between normal class and abstract class in Java. So now you can look at this abstract class. I have a partial definition and partial declaration. So finally I can say abstract class is a partially complete class or I can say it's a incomplete class. Yes, I have a partial amount of definition and declaration. So that's why I can say abstract class is a partially complete class or I can say it's an incomplete class. So because of this incompleteness for abstract class, I cannot create an object. You can look at my code. I am trying to create an object of my abstract class. It will be giving the 
compile time error. You can read the error message. It's very clearly saying that cannot initiate the type my abstract class. So which means I cannot create an object of abstract class. So the reason is it's an incomplete class. If this object creation is possible, let us assume that if this object creation is possible for abstract class, so then with the help of this object, I may try to invoke my abstract method one or two, but there is no definition or there is no body. Yes, it's only a declaration. So that's the reason JVM is not allowing us to create object of abstract class because abstract class is an incomplete class or it's a partially complete class. So finally for abstract class, I cannot create an object, but I can create a reference. I can create a reference for abstract class. So now we may get a question. So then how to use this abstract class in my program? Yes, I cannot create an object of abstract class. So then how to use this abstract class in the program? If I want to use this abstract class in a program, I have to extend this abstract class with the normal class. Nothing but inheritance. I'm going to extend my abstract class. I'm extending my abstract class with my normal class to use it in my program. So now you can see the moment I made inheritance in the normal class, I will get a copy of these three method. As we know already in normal class, I can get a copy of method with definition but I cannot get a copy of this one. Yes, in normal class, I can only define a method. I cannot declare a method. So that's why it's giving the error. You can look at the error message. It is saying that the normal class must implement or it must override all the abstract method from the abstract class. Yes, in a normal class, so this declaration copy is not allowed because the normal class can have a method with body it cannot be a declaration so finally the extending normal class must override all the abstract method from my abstract class so now let me override these two abstract method abstract method one and I'm just giving a definition. I'm overriding. I will say I am a abstract method one. The same way I have to override second abstract method also. Yes, the extending normal class must override all the abstract method. So let me override the second method as well will make it my method 2 and here I will display I am abstract method 2. So now you can see there is no error in my code. So I am summarizing the point once again. To make an abstract class I will come with the keyword abstract so that the class will become abstract class. So the difference between normal class and abstract class is in normal class, I can only define a method. But in case of abstract class, I can define as well as declare a method. Since it's a declaration, I have to tell to my compiler, it is an abstract method. Yes, there is no body. So to, to tell to my compiler, I'm using a keyword abstract. So finally, with the help of this abstract keyword, the compiler can understand, okay, it is the abstract method. So which means no need to expect the uh, method body or implementation. 
So finally, this abstract class is a partially complete class. I have some amount of definition and some amount of declaration. So that's why I can say abstract class is an incomplete class. Because of this incompleteness, I cannot create an object, but I can create a reference for my abstract class. So how to use this abstract class in my program? I will be extending this abstract class with my normal class, nothing but inheritance. And the extending normal class must override all abstract method. Yes, in a normal class, declaration copy is not allowed. So that's why I have to override all the abstract method from my abstract class in a normal class. So now my class is completed. And I have given a definition for all the abstract method. So now with the help of subclass object, either I can go for dynamic method dispatch, nothing but superclass reference equal subclass object. Either I can go for dynamic method dispatch or I can go for direct subclass object. I can use depends my convenient I can go for either DMD or I can directly go for my subclass object so now with the help of this subclass object yes I can call all my method so let me for example I am just using a second object object 2 dot my normal method and object 2 dot my abstract method 1 and my abstract method 2. So already we are familiar. Overriding is based on object. My method 1 and 2 will get executed from my subclass. Yes, my object is subclass type. And non overriding is based on reference in case of TMD. So now let me run this code and check my output. You can look at my output. Yes, it is executing all the three methods. So, hope friends, we are clear what is abstract class and how to use abstract class in a Java program. So now we may get one more question. Can I define a constructor in abstract class? Yes, I can define a constructor in my abstract class. It's possible. Uh, which means uh, what are the things I am doing with normal class? In normal class, I can declare a variable. I can define a constructor. I can define a static method. So everything is possible in abstract class. So finally, I can say abstract class is equal to normal class plus abstract method. So finally, normal class, what are the things we are using? Uh, maybe variable or static method or constructor. Everything I can use it in abstract class. So finally, abstract class is equal to your normal class and it has an extra functionality, nothing but abstract method or declaration. So let me define one constructor. Let me say my abstract class uh, with or without argument, depends you. Let me make a statement. I am a constructor from abstract class so finally you can see yes I can define a constructor in my abstract class already we are familiar constructor will execute automatically when we are creating an object but for abstract class we cannot create an object so then definitely we will be getting a question then how to call my abstract class constructor? Yes, I cannot create object of 
abstract class. So in that case, as we discussed in our previous video, I can go for subclass constructor from subclass constructor with the help of super keyboard. I can call my super class, nothing but my abstract class constructor. So finally, you can see I'm creating object of my subclass. So because of this object creation, it is going to call my subclass default constructor. From my subclass default constructor, I'm invoking my super class, nothing but my abstract class constructor with argument. So finally, in abstract class also, yes, I can have a constructor. But how will I call the abstract class constructor with the help of subclass object and super keyword. So finally, you can see it is displaying or it is executing my abstract class constructor. So it is executing my abstract class constructor two times because you know that in our code I have created object two times. That's why it is executing my abstract class constructor two times. So hope friends we are clear about what is abstract class and how to use abstract class in a Java program. So in our next video, we will be discussing about what is interface and how to use interface. Also in the next video, we'll discuss what is the real life usage of abstract class and interfaces. So thanks friends for watching this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe and click on the bell symbol. So that as soon as I upload a new video, you will be getting the notification. Also, you can share it with your friends.